We're stuck in a time loop, a deja vu. Can't get past the next day. Actually, we did when? The moment we fucked up, Koga and Sagata kind of on top of each other. My shows up. I'm like, why now is the save point going through? This is like, you ever play video games where you can like have like an epic battle or you're trying to capture the legendary Pokemon and you, hit, you make a save point and like you're sure that you can just revert to the past save point. But then this is the moment where your fucking game auto saves and you're like, what the fuck happened? I gotta restart. We can't even restart. She did come over at the end though. I think she wants to talk about it. She's a sensible, reasonable girl. I'm sure Mai will understand that we have to fucking fake be a boyfriend to Koga. Is she gonna be down? Let's find out. Hmm. Why is he big? <laughs> Why is he on his knees? <laughs> um, this angle, the way that she has black stockings and the way that you know her feet is moving around, this feels like a classic dominatrix scene. Well, it's different because her problem is kind of relating to his sisters, right? You can empathize. He wants to help her. <laughs> Bro, stay on top of it. <laughs> the way that she crosses her legs immediately and gets blushed. Hmm? Show some how. What do you want? Oh. Anything you want. What do you what do you what? Start licking her feet. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, even this is a good treatment though. <laughs> you know how many people would pay girls to do this shit? <laughs> that cost extra. Second kick cost extra, man. You are giving him your outfit? He's gonna sniff it, right? Okay. <laughs> he did sniff it! <laughs> okay, it's for her. It's for her sister. But little sis refuses to wear anything other than that onesie. Aw, she's eavesdropping. <laughs> Hello. You deserve it for eavesdropping. I'm surprised she's not asking why are you naked right now? Why do you got your shirt off? Why are you only in your boxers again? Oh, she actually changed the outfit. Wow. This is the first time. I thought she could only wear that. Hmm? Of course. Oh, look how she excited she is. Eventually, we'll have to solve Kaede's problem too, but I guess that's later in the end game. We gotta solve like Koga's stuff, and maybe a different girl will show up and gotta solve her too. Wasn't putting out. Oh, he's a little bit of a dick then. Another school. Wow. <laughs> you, ever, you ever had that shit in high school, guys? You're like, one of your friends is like, uh, did he just go like this to not see his boxers? Anyways. You ever have that person at school? It's like, oh, I have a girlfriend. It's like, really? Where? Oh, she goes to a different school. And you never fucking see her ever again. She never existed. I had to doll up. Uh, she looks cute, yeah. <laughs> looks up, down, up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, permissible passes. I agree. Miniskirt would be better. Oh, he got one. Oh, true, right. We don't have a smartphone. No, he's enlightened being. He surpassed humanly, the earthly desires. There it is. <laughs> one for the. F they look dead. <laughs> you gotta act more, man. Not when it's with my, but now we upload the picture to social media and then people will be like, why? Which one are you? The one in the back. <laughs> I don't think Koga is a big ass, but interesting how Koga sees herself as someone that just follows. He's just like Sakata, yeah. What was that? She got ahead of herself. What? Did she start to enjoy it too much? What was that? She catch herself and like, oh shit, I'm getting too invested? Okay, cute, but what about it? Lost a bunch of her old friends, had to find a new group. Or maybe this is a chance to change. Hmm. Identity update. Try to be trendy, no more lamey. Okay. Well, if that makes you feel good about yourself, there's nothing wrong with like updating your physique, 
But if you're trying to be someone you're not, then that kind of defeats the purpose. Exactly. Do you like who you are? Is this copium or is she convincing herself? Good line. Oh, dude, she's gonna fall for you at this rate. Stop. Stop. Oh, wait. <laughs> this kind of like validation, like assuring a girl, yo, this goes miles. This is. <laughs> it's working! I hope she doesn't get her heart broken. You know, she might get lost in the sauce. He already found. Wow, okay, that saves a lot of time. That saves a lot of. What? She got wet trying to help her. No hesitation. Koga's a good person. But what's going on? Why? <laughs> because she got wet. <laughs> Typical anime. Dude, the moment you get a little wet, you just fucking catch a cold. But here's a good thing about catching a sickness or cold is that you get to do bedside manners for them, right? We get to like feed her. We get to like take care of her. It's a good excuse to get even closer. That's a... Well, he's still hiding it, right? You can't say that! I, objectively, it's true. It is absolutely true. I don't know if... It's, it is what it is, right? People treat people a lot differently if they're more attractive. He's an enlightened being, transcended humanity. He doesn't give a shit about what other people think. Only thing that matters is Mai's opinion of us. You shouldn't care so much, though. See? It's not about quantity. It's about the quality of your friend group. If you have that one person that believes in you, that's all that matters. Oh. Peach emoji ass? <laughs> she covered her ass immediately. My... You can't say that out loud! Everybody's fucking listening! This fucking guy. Yeah, so. Has she specifically? No, I don't think so. No, we don't have the wrong idea. Do we? No, she's gaslighting us. No, 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 no. I called because... So cheeky. She is so cheeky, man. And he's so upfront about it. No, are you... Does he? The couch is hiding. <laughs> the <laughs> Maybe he is ass naked. <laughs> I don't know. The couch is hiding, you know, his boxers. So I'd like to think he's naked. Hmm. Yeah, that's a terrible job, bro. But you be, I, you be, you better be fucking be getting paid well in that one day. Oh, it's this girl again. <laughs> Huh. Futaba definitely has a crush on him, right? I mean, last episode too, she was kind of like feeling very jealous that she was out of all this like romantic stuff. Hello. <laughs> no, we're trying to be a right hand man. Come on. Yeah, I don't think he really knows at all. Why would that suck? Are you just gonna let this go? He's single, right? There's a chance. <laughs> he is pretty handsome. Honestly, he's like the taller, more better looking athletic guy than Sakura. They have the same, like, look. But he's just a little bit bigger and more tanned, I think. She doesn't need to re-roll. What if she could actually start re-rolling? What if there's a future where she actually gets so invested into Sakuta and there comes a time where... Who the fuck are you? Well, anyways, what... Oh, this fucking guy! Oh, right, this is Kunimi's... Oh, this is Kunimi's girlfriend, right? Okay, my bad. So then, Futaba probably has no chance. Why do you care? Oh, she's noticed! Oh. No! What the fuck do we have to owe you for? <laughs> First, it was, is it your time of the month? The second, are you constipated? <laughs> too old! Too old, dude! Fucking unmatched, but 
what was I saying? Getting back to Koga and about the re-rolling process. What if Koga gets super attached to Sakuta? There comes a time where they have to move on, but then Koga says, no, I don't want it to happen. So she keeps re-rolling in order to keep Sakuta around. What about her? Such as? No, this is just rumors. What the f- Who is spreading these rumors? Basketball team. The guy that asked her out. Yes, because he saw us on top of each other. I didn't think that he'd be so immature to spread these kind of rumors though. I thought he was just over it. But this is pretty damaging. My. Hello. Thanks for letting us know. I love how she leaves us messages on this fucking, like, uh, everybody just has a smartphone, right? I don't think people have, like, landline phones anymore. Because he doesn't have a smartphone, she leaves him messages like this. It's so boomer. Koga's being excluded from Rena's group! They're really fucking alright. Really. Really. <laughs> We can't beat the rumor that this guy you are so salty you had to spread that rumor he is pretty big i'm not i'm not gonna lie look look at these boys they're pretty thick the ball <laughs> dude you can't do it he's fine no what are you doing dude you can't fight him no no Oh god! <laughs> the shin! Kick him in the dick. So? Oh yeah, you sucker punched him. No way! Dude! He is so giga chad! I. <laughs> it keeps going! Did he? This is amazing! This is, yes! This is so funny to me! <laughs> Admit to everybody, you spread that fucking lie, dude! Nah, it's not enough. She should say it out loud right now. Why did you lie? Yes, make everyone hear it! I don't know about that! I don't know about that, dude! I, I guess the point across, but at what cost? Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I, I think someone who is truly confident in themselves. Oh, she started laughing there. I think someone who is truly confident in themselves can say that shit and feel okay. But, you know, just admitting that you're a virgin, nothing wrong with it, but in front of fucking everyone there. <laughs> hey, maybe his dateability went up even higher now. And we clear up Koga's name, right? Let us kick you in the ass every day. <laughs> Just friends. Just asking her to be friends was like a confession scene. What was that lighting and the, and the fucking wind that makes her hair to sway? Okay, maybe she's fine with just being friends. My. <laughs> this is a fucking five second ad. <laughs> On YouTube! Wait! At the end there, I thought Koga was supposed to be, like, supposedly fine with just being friends. But then looking at the ad of Mai, that look was kind of jealousy envy. So, my theory was that, you know, Taba specifically mentioned if Koga could keep re-rolling, she would truly be a demon. What if she gets jealous? What if she wants Sakuta? What if she keeps re-rolling to try and get him, you know, be permanent boyfriend? Yo, she might be a demon at this rate. The best part, without a doubt, of the episode was Sakuta being the giga chat he is. Fucking fighting that guy. Like, he actually fought him. Like, he took a sucker punch, got up, faked, kicked him in the shin, fucking stepped on his face with Dookie on his shoes. I think that's a lie, but whatever. Psychological attack. And then, oh my god, tells everybody that he's a virgin. Actual Giga Chad. This guy might be the most alpha, the most confident, the perfect male protagonist in a rom com series I've seen so far. This guy blows everyone out the fucking water. Now I get why people keep saying anime back in the day was so much better. Because what do we have these fucking days in rom com series? All fucking wet, cardboard, noodle ass, plastic bag ass main characters that's like, oh my god, I'm so shy. Oh my god, I'm not gonna do anything. But the girl always reaches out. You know why? Target demographic that fucking sells and money is, you know, 
it is what it is. Anyways, I'm rambling. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.